Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em, and today's video, I'm going to be introducing another free note-taking app that is iOS compatible, and this is Killer Notes. Killer Notes is a free handwritten notebook where you can write or type texts, draw, insert pictures, and even import PDF documents. However, unlike Color Note, Killer Notes offers a monthly subscription of $2.99 to unlock advanced content, including custom time planning books. So what I'm going to show you is the free version, so let's get started. So when you open the app, you'll see this offer of membership, so you can subscribe if you want to. So here is the main page, which is organized by notebook. So the layout is just plain simple and user friendly. Let's go ahead and open the welcome note. This is written in Chinese and I don't read Chinese. So let's go back and familiarize ourselves with the other features. By tapping the notebook name, there's an option to rename, edit and delete your notebook. You can customize the design of the cover, but these designs are limited. And if you're done, just tap on Sure. So on the top right, you can see three icons. So the first icon is the Store icon. This shows you additional features or add-ons. And also the membership or the subscription box. Next is the Download icon where you can import your PDF documents, which I'll be showing you later on. Moving on, we have the settings menu, which is quite a few. We have a single finger panning option, the backup data where you can select notes to backup. So here are the options for my device. Next is the recycle bin where you can recover your deleted notes, but after 30 days, if not recovered, it will automatically be deleted permanently. Next is the rate on the app store, the about section, and the contact information. You can also group the notebooks in a folder by holding and dragging them together like so. Unfortunately, you can't sort or arrange this by name. So we're done with the main page, so now let's create a notebook. First, choose the cover. So I'm going to choose the hearts because it's a love month. Then a subject, let's say biology. Last is the paper option. So there are four colors to choose from the white, yellow, green, and black, and then the paper styles. So these are just the basic ones. Later, I'll show you other free templates. Unfortunately, there's no option for paper orientation, so I can't see any landscape option here. But anyway, let's create our demo note. Here is our work screen, so now let's get to know these icons up here. So this one right here is the sidebar view where you can see all the pages of your notebook. Next is the bookmark icon, where you can add cards, mark a page or mark a certain word, photos, or paragraphs that are important. I'll show you this in a little while for you to understand how this works. Now let's go to the icons on the right. First is this sticker icon. You can download the free stickers and for the rest, you can go ahead and purchase them. But these are all free if you purchase the membership or the subscription. Moving on, we have the paper icon. You have an option to replace the paper styler color of your current page or the last page, and also add a page before or after your current page. Down here are the other free templates available. Again, you can purchase the membership to unlock the rest of the templates. And in the More icon, you can export your notes to the following drive or apps. And lastly, you can change the scrolling direction to horizontal or vertical. And now onto the main toolbar. First is the pen tool. So there are three different pen styles, but they're just all quite the same. Then you can enable the Draw in Straight Line option. Other tools are on this side, so there's the Undo and Redo. 
Then you can also set your five favorite colors and choose from the palette. You can also type in the color code and add to your presets. Next, you can also set your three most used brush sizes. Now I'm going to test this pen tool. By the way, you can also move the second toolbar on all four sides of your work screen. So I'm going to move it on top because it's much easier. Next is the highlighter tool. You can also set your five favorite colors and the sizes of your highlighter. You can also enable the draw in a straight line option. Next is the eraser tool. You can control the size of the eraser. You can erase the entire stroke or erase partially by disabling this option. There's no shape tool, so there's no auto perfect shape, but you can import shapes from Google instead. Next is the lasso tool. You can choose the lasso text or image. You can also take a screenshot, adjust the size, change color, copy or delete the selected text or image. You can also use lasso tool on your PDF documents. Next is the media icon where you can import photos or take pictures. Then there's an option to edit, replace, copy, lock and rotate the image. Next is the text tool. Same color options, then you can change the font size and font style. You can write directly on it or type in your texts. The following are samples of a simple daily planner and a handwritten and typewritten note.
Next is the PDF annotation. You can import PDF documents from the downloads icon from the main page of Kilo Notes, or if you're on Google, you can open with Kilo Notes. Next is the card icon. Simply select a page, image, text, tables, etc. and categorize them accordingly. For example, the ones you need to remember or you need to study. You can also customize the color code of your tags. To see your tags, you can go to the bookmark or favorites icon. So that's probably it. Thank you for watching. I hope this walkthrough was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Peace.